What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Rudvarsaks back with another video and just before I explain you what's really going on here on the table, take a look at these. So what you just saw was a few few time lapse clips that I've made and uh, you probably noticed they have some really cool motion and this is what is going on down here on the table and I'm gonna show you how me and a big thanks to my dad uh, who helped me with this construction building thing so uh, I'm just gonna run through what we have here on the table so I've got my tripod which is nothing special it's just a tripod we're just gonna put it aside for now obviously you're probably gonna need a camera otherwise you wouldn't even watch this video you will need a camera slider which you can buy on Amazon or eBay doesn't really matter my one is 120 centimeters 1.2 meters long uh, camera slider and then you're gonna need a ball head is this just a just a disclaimer this is just a manual slider you can just slide it back and forth your on your own uh, and you're gonna need a a ball head you can buy it on Amazon or eBay as well or anywhere else you like to shop and then all fun all fun starts here I mean what is that so uh, principle of this construction comes from basically a DIY tool so I couldn't find any wrench or anything like that at home unfortunately I found a screwdriver which works with exactly the same principle so you can Let's say you can screw something and then you can just, you know, you don't have to take it off to continue screwing or you can change the direction and you can unscrew something without uh, taking this off of a screw or whatever you're doing. So this thing is exactly the same principle. Uh, you can just click it upwards and you can see this pulls the string and this thing slowly moves up yes it's manual uh, but I mean how much did it cost I don't know the slider and the ball head all together maybe the wrench it all together maybe costed me I'd say under hundred dollars if you want to buy an electronic slider specifically for time-lapse and stuff like that it's gonna cost you like three hundred four hundred dollars some of the high-end uh, sliders are even sky high prices so you don't even want to look at them so uh, I'm just gonna try and talk you through how this is actually made so you're gonna have to buy a ball head that's for sure you're gonna need some rope that's cheap you know that's uh, there's a little plastic tube here and like a handle up here a little handle down here and basically a wrench which you can change the direction as well so we can go one way or the other way uh, I've locked this for now here you know I can unlock it or lock it anywhere I want and this little knob here if you undo it you can actually bend this down like that so it's more compact if you're traveling somewhere you know but when you're gonna be using that it's gonna be straight up like this so let's start with actually putting all this together and for that I'm gonna need to attach a tripod underneath this slider because as you know the sliders comes with the the tripod screw it's either the smaller one or the bigger one you can use both of them uh, on this uh, occasion just so lock it down this this whole construction just suddenly became so massive and uh, I need to let down 
the ball head so it means we're gonna have to do some clicking okay and this is where the magic happens so you just you know you, you know how to work with ball heads come on so you just slide your camera right in here like that make sure it's in let's say whatever angle you want make sure this make sure the slider is not like tight make sure it's kind of free and now all the magic you set up your time lapse and uh, do whatever seconds you want in between the shots but make sure you move the camera upwards in between every single shot for example i'm gonna just do a little exa uh, a little example here i'm gonna turn on my camera i'm gonna go into the time lapse settings intervalometer uh, take picture every five seconds start after five seconds yes so we're gonna take photo after every five seconds so that works now we're just gonna wait five seconds till it takes the first photo I did three clicks up another photo three clicks up another photo three clicks up and that is how simple it actually is so uh, the pros and cons pros are you're gonna get cool looking time lapse and you can set up this tripod wherever you want and whatever angle you can go backwards or forwards or left or right up or down and uh, yeah this mechanism it's good because it allows camera to travel up but it doesn't allow to go back down so you don't have to worry about if it's gonna go up like if it's gonna be sturdy or whatever uh, the, the the cons is that it's manual and you have to be on point you need to listen for every single shot you need to sit here 45 minutes or less or more it depends on how long you're gonna be doing that and you need to manually click it up obviously the the big pro is that it's it's much cheaper than buying an actual electronic one i have to say big thanks for my dad to do actually this whole cutting and drilling and screwing and the idea behind all this was mine i just didn't know how to put it on a real thing so uh, my dad helped on this a lot so that's how you do it of course you can go back down as well uh, but i would I would be careful with the angle if we change the rotation on this one and if we go down I mean the weight is going down and there is nothing that holds actually it's kinda actually it's kinda good I thought it might go down just by its own weight but if you want to do a motion downwards I would suggest you just to make a time lapse upwards and then just play it in a reverse speed that would just be easier probably thanks for watching i hope you found this somewhat uh, useful i mean it's kind of cool to do and make your own stuff i know when i was a few years back we were trying to make our own stabilizers and stuff like that i mean everyone goes through this period and i think this thing is kind of cool i even took this with my with me in my highlands trip so i use it actually quite a few times and uh, yeah I think it's pretty cool. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check around for other videos if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!